You have been prescribed an atomizer jet nebulizing system for a bronchopulmonary treatment or for nasal or sinusitis treatment. For a bronchopulmonary treatment, you shall use a standard jet nebulizing system equipped with a mouthpiece and only one tube. For a nasal or sinusitis treatment, you shall use a sonic jet nebulizing system operating with sound vibrations and equipped with a nose piece and two tubes. In that case, the system alternates sounds and vibrations every 15 seconds. Your session shall last 5 to 15 minutes, depending on your breathing and on the amount of medicine you have been prescribed. After having thoroughly washed your hands, put the device on a table, open it, and take out the nebulizing kit. Plug the unit in. Take out the parts of the nebulizing kit containing a mounted nebulizer, a mouthpiece for the standard model, or nose piece for the sonic device, both to be used instead of the mask one tube for the standard model, and two for the sonic one. Connect the tube that reads pression to the matching piece on the device. According to the model of the compressor, fit either the mouthpiece or the nasal one onto the nebulizer. Unscrew the upper part of the nebulizer and pour all the medicine in the tank. Screw the upper part of the nebulizer back on. Then, connect the other end of the tube to the inlet of the nebulizer. For a sonic model, connect the second and largest tube that reads vibrations to the corresponding outlet of the compressor and then to the upper part of the nebulizer. Switch the compressor on. Place the mouthpiece in your mouth between your teeth and close your lips. or select the sonic mode on the compressor and place the nose piece in your nostrils. Make yourself comfortable and breathe calmly and naturally. Both assembling and operating procedures remain the same whether the compressor has a metal frame like the model Atomizer Vanity or a plastic frame like atomizer box. As well as for the atomizer sonic vanity and its equivalent sonic box plastic. For all the models, at the end of the session, the nebulization becomes irregular, discontinuous, and then stops. Place the nebulizer on the compressor. Switch the compressor off. After each inhaling session, remember to disconnect the tube or tubes from the side of the compressor. Disconnect the electrical plug too. Proceed now with the cleaning of your nebulizing kit. Dismantle it into four parts. Do not forget the jet. A small amount of medicine remains in the bottom of the tank. Empty it out. Rinse all the parts under running water, then wash them in a container with water and a few drops of dishwashing liquid. Rinsing the tubes is usually not necessary, unless some liquid remains inside of them. In that case, rinse with water and let dry. Thoroughly rinse all parts with water again. Let them dry on a clean towel or kitchen roll. You can also put all the parts in your dishwasher. To disinfect the parts, you can put them in boiling water for 20 minutes. Make sure all the parts remain below the water. You can also use your microwave oven. Pour water in a recipient meant for microwave sterilization, like a baby bottle steam sterilizer. Place all the parts of the nebulizer 
and set it on for 10 minutes. If the mouthpiece or nose piece cannot be used, a nebulizing mask is available in the kit, either for adult or child. For any further information, do not hesitate to contact your pharmacist or your supplier.